a cuscutabine grove, it probes its surroundings the way we do with our hands when we search for the bathroom light in the middle of the night. The vine bends and grows until it finds something tasty, say, a tomato plant. Then it probes downward until it finds the base of the stem, which it sinks its teeth into. It wraps itself around the plant and sucks out its vital juices. And strangely enough, Cuscuta can smell whether its potential victims are healthy or not. We accept that animals can find their host based on the smell. We see that all the time, right? It's just we don't think that plants have that ability. And I think that's what's fascinating because we just have this line that we have drawn that says animals can do this, but plants cannot. Plants can also use smell to communicate. Some use odors to defend themselves against predators and warn each other of danger. For instance, caterpillars are eating the leaves of this soybean plant. The plant calls for help by releasing chemicals that attract wasps. The wasps sting the caterpillars to death. While this is going on, other plants smell the distress signal and release their own chemicals to ward off attack. Plants live on a different time scale from humans. Their actions unfold so slowly, we think nothing is happening at all. But plants defend themselves, communicate with other plants, recognize injured neighbors by scent, and sniff out meals.